hello CSK family and a special hello to Glow, Shine, Illuminate and all our under threes and also to our friends near and far. It's great to be together again. So here we are, it's nearly the end of November and today is the last in our sermon series all about relationships. I wonder if you can remember all the different themes we have looked at. Perhaps you can chat about that with your family. But we're going to get on to the last one today and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But before that, as you can see, Birthday Bear is ready to sing. So, have you had a birthday this week or someone that you know? I know that someone had a first birthday in the week just gone and also a friend of mine has got a birthday tomorrow. So whoever we're singing to today, make sure you sing loud and clear, wishing them a happy birthday and sending you love. Not many names today. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Ashley. Happy birthday to you. Give yourself some fans of applause. What fantastic singing as always. Right. What do you think we'll do now? I think you're right. Let's get ready for a game. So are you ready for a game? I've changed into my sporty gear because um, we're going to get very active because our, our game is going to take us around our house a little bit. So um, just have a little check to make sure that you can get around your house safely. Yeah, done that. Nothing on the floor that you're going to suddenly trip over. We don't want any bumped heads, do we? So we're going to have a scavenger hunt. I'm going to call out a clue and I want you to go and find an item that would fit that clue. You can have bonus points if you bring back the same thing as I do. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder if we'll get anybody who gets the same as me. So I'm going to say the item. It will count down three, two, one, go, so that we're all going at the same time and then bring your item back to where your family is gathered at the moment. Okay, got that? I'll say the clue. Count down three, two, one, go, and then come back. Okay. So you might want to stop the film after it says go. Here we are then. Here is the first item you need to go and find. So the first item is find something that is yellow. What have you got? I've got a banana. Give yourself a point for your um, objects, but if you've got a banana as well, you can have two points. Okay, the next one is find something that is shiny. I've got a spoon. Anybody else got a spoon? Or maybe another item of cutlery. Let's go to the next one. Find something that feels soft. Who bought their favourite cuddly toy with them? This is Billy Bear. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Just have a little relax for a moment. So the next one is something made of wood. What have you got? Oh, that looks really interesting. I have got a mushroom. In fact, it's a little mushroom made into a house. My dad made that for me some years ago. What should we have in the next one? Oh, can you find something that's bumpy? Can you hear it? What have you got? Show me what you've got. I've got some bubble wrap. Oh, I love bubble wrap. Okay, ready for the next one? Find something that's got wheels. Oh, I can see some really interesting items. I have got my camper van. There's two more to go. The next one is find something made of paper. Oh, 
What have you got? I've got an envelope. And the very last one, find something that you can wear on your head or in your hair. What have you got? Have you got a hat as well? Well, well done, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Count up your points and then we'll get back together and dive into the Bible. So as I said earlier, this is the final week of our sermon series all about relationships. Have you been following it in the Sunday shorts? We've touched upon it in our children and family slot as well. We've talked about our relationship with our family, with our friends, with social media, with church family. And we started at the most important point, which was our relationship with God. You might remember when Sylvia spoke about that some weeks ago. Well, today has got a very grown up title. It says, how to handle conflict in relationships. Oh, that sounds very complicated to me. Have a little chat with your family. How to handle conflict in relationships. Well, if we get it down to the nitty gritty, the simplest way of thinking about it, is how do we handle our friendships and relationships in our family when things don't quite go right? How do we handle it when we feel that someone's done the wrong thing or we've done the wrong thing? What do we do about it? Well, we're going to dive into the reading that was used this morning. We heard it read in the Sunday short, but I'm not going to read all of it. I'm just going to read one verse. So can you find your Bible and jump into 1 Peter? The reason it's called 1 Peter is because Peter wrote two letters. 1 Peter and amazingly 2 Peter. And you can see in my Bible, it's a long way down the Bible. We've gone past the Old Testament, past the four Gospels, past Acts, past a whole lot of letters. And we get to 1 Peter. And I'm looking at chapter 3. And this morning, the verses were 8 to 17. But I just want to read verse 8. Here we go. Can you find it? Even better, read it with me. To conclude, that means that Peter was coming to the end of what he wanted to write. You must all have the same attitude and the same feelings. Love one another as brothers and be kind and humble with one another. I'll read that again. You must all have the same attitude and the same feelings. Love one another as brothers and be kind and humble with one another. I want to point something out in that verse. It's really important that we recognise that it doesn't say you must all be the same. It says have the same attitude and the same feelings. And in doing that, love one another as brothers and be kind and humble. But it doesn't say you must all be the same. Isn't that amazing? Because it's really important to know that God made us to be individuals. Yes, he wants us to love each other as brothers. He wants us to be kind. He wants us to be humble. He wants us to stand up for the right thing. But he also wants us to be an individual. And by being an individual, he knows that sometimes we get it wrong. Sometimes we get very hurt when other people have got it wrong and we've been hurt by their actions or their words. And God can find, help us find a way to deal with that. And other times we're sad because we know that we've said the wrong thing or done the wrong thing. And again, God wants to talk to us about that. He wants us to find a way to say sorry and then to leave it behind. In our game this morning, how many of the items did you bring that were the same as mine? One, two. Some of them it was impossible, wasn't it? I've only got one mushroom made like this. This is the only one there is. There was no way that you could bring one that was the same as mine. But other things, you might have bought a banana or you might have bought a cuddly toy. So we were very similar. But other things, it was very individual. If I'd said to you, go and find something precious, I expect we would have bought many, many different things because what's important to us is different. But you are important to God. If we think about Jesus' time with his disciples, we le learnt the Lord's Prayer because the disciples asked Jesus, how do we pray? 
And it's a great reminder in that line that says, forgive us our sins as we forgive others who sin against us. In that prayer, Jesus explained exactly how we can be of the same heart, of the same love for each other, but also individuals. He showed us the way to forgive and to be forgiven. So we're going to finish with the Lord's Prayer. You'll notice that the people on the film have probably changed quite a bit since this was made because this was back in June. But the Lord's Prayer is just as important to pray today as it was back in June when we used it for Thy Kingdom Come, a special film we made. So will you pray with me now as we finish our time together? And I look forward to seeing you next week when we start getting ready for Advent. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, 